Hey guys, Magic here. Um, I just want you to know that I am on a healing journey and that I do hope to help you along yours as well. <sighs> healing, it's a process and sometimes we need people to walk with us and to hold us accountable to that process so we don't backslide too far. The problem is, is when we surround ourselves with people who don't want us to heal or want to keep us where we're at because that's where they're at. We need to find people that are where we want to be that can lead us by example. Remember, there are no bad emotions. Emotions are just comfortable or uncomfortable. We tend to classify the uncomfortable ones as negative or bad, but they're not. They're just there to tell us something. Recovery takes time, but it will create a sense of peace and joy. But we have to be able to get to that point, and we need to be willing to put the work in to get there and follow the principles that will get us there. Part of recovery is learning to live an emotional truth and being impeccably honest with ourselves and others. This is hard because our emotions are hard. But they're not all easy. And the ones that are easy sometimes can be overwhelming. Um, being honest all the time with yourself and others is also hard because we often want, don't want to hurt other people's feelings or we feel like it'd be better if we just weren't honest because then we could fit in. But we need to be ourselves authentically and fully all, at all times. We need to be able to maintain personal accountability in all things. This means taking responsibility for our own actions and the consequences that those actions have. We need to have a humble lifestyle and learn to be modest and to not get arrogant and think too highly of ourselves, but at the same time not downplay our abilities or to cause ourselves to degrade ourselves or talk down to ourselves. We need to not alter or deny the reality of your life or your physical and emotional experiences. It's sometimes hard because sometimes we like to exaggerate or we like to, you know, make things sound so we sound better. But we need, that's the same thing with being honest. You just need to be honest with yourself and others because you're not going to have any real relationships or real friends or feel really connected to anybody if you're constantly having to hide something or lie to them. We need to be able to experience and feel all emotions as they're connected to every experience. Emotions are part of the human experience, are part of being human, and we need to be able to experience and feel, feel them all fully. If we can't feel them fully, then we'll never be whole, we'll never fully recover. We need to be able to share with another person how we feel and ask them to validate and have empathy for us. It's important that everybody has at least one person who can validate their experience and have empathy for them. I try to do this for the people around me because I know how important it is and how much it sucks when you have no one who understands you or can validate you even if they don't fully understand. My uh, boyfriend at, right now, he's really great at validating and having that empathy even when he doesn't fully understand and I appreciate and love him so much for that. And if you need someone that can validate your experience and have empathy for you, just know that I am here. And finally, we need to be able to surrender what we cannot control and not be judgmental while still being able to judge our experience without distorting the reality. It's okay to judge the experience. It's okay to mix judgments in situations, but don't judge other people or be prejudiced against other people because of things that have happened in the past. Because this person, someone completely new, that experience with that group of people may not be true for all of those people. You need to go by, by situation by situation, person by person. Anyway, guys, thanks for listening. As always, remember, love always wins. So go out and spread the love, okay?